just outside of it in Ontario. Welcome back. With classrooms closed, hundreds of school districts quickly shifted to serving thousands of emergency meals through drive through mobile centers. Here to fill us in on how schools are continuing their commitment to keeping our kids safe and healthy is Sean Lear, CEO of Gold Star Foods. Welcome to the show, Sean. Hey, good good morning. morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah, there are new guidelines and rules for just about everything school and student related. Tell us how will schools and nutrition providers um, how are they going to adapt to all the changes? Yeah, it's, it's a great question. I think from your intro, uh, you really nailed it. Uh, it was such a huge shift almost immediately for school meal programs. Literally overnight, they had to change all of their feeding. I think uh, school lunch ladies and guys are completely resilient. So what we'll see is them modifying uh, everything that they do to meet the no new COVID and social distancing from individually wrapped products, different modes of service. I think it's going to be a dramatic change, but they're they're really up to the task. Yeah, when we talk about schools, a lot of people may not realize they're an essential feeding center for communities and explain just how important they are to some of these families, not just throughout the year, but especially in this current pandemic. Yeah, yeah that's a great point. point. You know, 60% of the kids in California pre COVID were qualified for free and reduced lunches. So the need was apparent even when our economy was strong. Now that we see, you know, certainly the amount of unemployment in our communities, we've seen the need uh, across the nation, but even specific in the Sacramento Mano Valley, to be really huge. Uh, so we're seeing more and more kids participating. Uh, certainly with the, the draw on the grocery stores, it was really the place where kids and families could get food. So we're seeing the need really increasing going into the summer and fall. You're with Gold Star and Gold Star Foods works directly with numerous school districts here in California and beyond. Talk more about the company. Yeah, yeah well, thank, thank you. you. We, we work exclusively with school lunch programs, about 600 school districts in the state of California and we're in 18 states. Uh, we have a facility just outside of Sacramento and Dixon. Uh, we work with lunch programs, have for about 40 years. Uh, our partners are those uh, on a daily basis, meeting your child's nutrition needs. But since COVID, we've really found that all of our customers have been the emergency nutritional first responders in the community. Uh, and so we're happy to support that. Certainly we felt the stresses of business and everyone else has uh, keeping our employees safe and working with our partners, but uh, we're, we're proud to serve the child nutrition community exclusively. How have you been able to secure fresh and affordable food with all of the growing demands? Well, I, I think uh, it would be nimble and scrappy. I think having our customers working with us, uh, we've been able to work with our supply partners. Uh, you know, one of the things that's been a, a letdown is so many schools, specifically in the Sacramento area, have done such a great job with locally sourced items. We've had to shift to more broadly based, individually wrapped items, uh, but we're starting to see some of our local producers be able to give us items that we can individually wrap. Uh, but again, it's been a whole business community. It's been our school nutrition partners really responding. And frankly, it's been the California Department of Education and USDA really giving a, a lot of clear guidance and funding immediately to, be able to support the cause. And now that schools are letting out for the summer, how do you serve students who really rely on school meals for their daily source of nutrition? And how is Gold Star committed to ensuring that these children will have meals? Uh, thank you. Uh, you know, we're. Normally we see a drop in participation in the summer. This year we've seen really just a continuation of what we've seen in the school year. Most of our school districts are really ramping up for summer. Uh, you know, Senator Pan has done a, a million meal initiative in the Sacramento, greater Sacramento area. Uh, we expect to really support those efforts. As I mentioned, you know, uh, business has taken a hit for all of us, but we're committed to this industry. Uh, we're sourcing additional items to support the school district's needs, resources, and really being an extension of every school district we serve. But we'll see the need will be increasing this summer. I think you're going to see most all schools actively participating in supporting their community's needs. All right, Sean Lear, we want to thank you for joining us. Keep up the good work. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.